When we received our Leap Motion about a week ago, we were very surprised by just how small the device is. It's a little bigger than a pack of gum, but it feels well built, and as soon as you connect it to your computer, you are brought to AirPlay, which is Leap's app, browser and store. The very first app that opens is a quick orientation on how to use the Leap. The first couple of sections allow you to move particles on the screen by moving your hands in sweeping motions over the controller. The following section creates a wireframe representation of your hands and this demonstration shows off the Leap's tracking sensitivity and just how accurate it really is. Having used Microsoft's Kinect in the past, the Leap is aptly named as this is indeed a major step forward in hand motion tracking. The Leap Motion can track all digits on both hands at the same time and every twitch or small movement of your fingers is represented on screen with no perceived lag. Again, we were very pleasantly surprised by just how good the tracking is, however the Leap can get confused if you cross your hands or face your palms up, which is to be expected as the camera in the Leap Motion would be unsighted. The next part of orientation is a blank screen where you can use your fingers to do some drawings. The Leap tracks the tip of your finger and when you push forward your finger hits an invisible wall and you can start to draw images on the screen. This application feels very natural and is a great demonstration of the Leap's capabilities. Once you have completed this tutorial you are brought back to Leap Motion's app selection and store. There are quite a few games and apps to choose from in the store, but from a virtual reality point of view, there is currently only one compatible app available with Oculus Rift support, which is a short game from developer indie nerds called Leak, Little Adventure, which is a physics type game. Leak has you viewing a maze and you control a blue orb with the tip of your finger. You have full control of the orb in 3D space and you can not only move it in any direction but you can move it closer or further away from you by simply moving your finger. On screen a larger bright white orb can be controlled by simply touching the smaller blue orb against it and this activates a type of gravity attraction between both orbs and you can drag the larger orb through the maze as it follows your small orb. The camera is locked onto the larger white orb so you can freely look around the maze to figure out what you need to do which is a great design choice as the movement is gradual and steady which makes for a pleasant VR experience even for newcomers. This is an extremely interesting implementation of Leap Motion Controls for VR and it makes Leak a very compelling game to play. Further in the game the gravity physics change so that the large white orb becomes heavy and drops to the ground and you have to negotiate your way around walls and up ramps. Leak Little Adventure is a beautifully simple game that will have you completely engrossed and is for the moment the best implementation of Leap in VR. Before I started this review I reached out to the VR community for other examples of Leap Motion Control and I must say a big thank you to Gerald from IndieNerds.com who sent us some short demo examples which demonstrate other ways in which the Leap can be used in games. In the first example, Gerald has created a small area with some control switches. You control a small orb with your finger and you can use this to interact with the switches by pushing them forward or backward, which changes the light setting on the stage. You can also weave in between the columns accurately, which is great in VR as judging depth in VR is extremely easy compared to standard PC monitors. In the second example you control a small spacecraft that tracks the movement of your green orb. The tracking feels smooth and I could easily see myself playing a full exploration game in this way. The third example sees the same spacecraft but this time the craft is focused to a point in the centre of the screen and you control the angle at which the ship is pointing. It feels as if there is some kind of elastic between your fingers, the ship and the centre of the stage.
In example 4, your point of view is from the ship and you can control the direction you are looking at by simply moving your finger. The final example is a simple destroy the tower with a ball game. You again control an orb and you can pull back on a coloured ball and release it in the hope it will destroy the tower that you're pointing at. This section is a little bit difficult but I liken it to a three dimensional version of Angry Birds. When playing all the demos from Gerald and Leek, we experienced no lag at all from the controller and only occasionally did the Leap miss our movements as we moved our hands out of the sensor's viewing range. We did however try some other demos with mixed results. One of these demos is called Flight which allows you to fly like Superman. The developer Roguebot released this almost a year ago and by his own admission it's a bit buggy. The Leap tracks your hands as you push forward you start to fly. The Leap's accuracy seemed off in this demo but this could well be due to the fact that this demo is not very optimised and since it was created over a year ago the Leap has had a firmware update which seems to address a lot of its earlier tracking issues. From searching online there is very little VR content for The Leap which is very surprising and a bit disappointing. With my time with The Leap I could see this being very well suited as a control scheme for games such as The Sims or World of Warcraft as the accuracy of the finger tracking is perfect and you could easily point at sections on a map extremely fast to select NPCs or select targets. Having no buttons to physically click can sometimes make menu selection on some games a bit tricky but this can easily be substituted by pointing at the required menu and pressing the spacebar on your keyboard if designed into the game. Overall we are very impressed with the Leap Motion's tracking accuracy and highly competitive price of just under $80. We do dearly hope that in the future more VR content comes out with Leap support controls as it opens up a lot of new gameplay possibilities which we are excited to see.